What's up YouTube? This is Rick Nurse coming to you with another uh, Minecraft tutorial on how to make my automatic wheat farm. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, I'm here to show you on how this automatic wheat farm works. I designed this myself, specially designed, a very effective uh, piece of artwork I'd like to call it. But um, this is it right here. Uh, this is how I make all my farms and how I will always make my farms. Very, very effective. But uh, I know the wheat's not grown yet, but I just could not wait to show you guys. So here we go. There we go. That is how the wheat farm works, automatic wheat farm. All the water flows nice and clean into uh, the little spaces that I have here. And then all that, whenever it's finished, you have your seeds and your wheat to pick up whenever you're finished. That's all there is to it. Now, you might think it's very, very difficult, but it's really not that difficult to uh, design. Uh, the only thing is, um, the only way you would have trouble with anything like this would be this line right here. This line and that line of dirt. Just because shit like this happens all the time. That's simply because it is away from the water block, because I do have water blocks going underneath here that they constantly flow to keep all this fertilized. So it keeps the wheat nice and um, it always keeps the uh, ground nice and wet for you so you can plant it fresh every time. Same thing for this side. Now there is a water block under here as well, but it doesn't quite reach up to there simply because of the walkway. But I think a uh, line sacrificed is kind of minimal. I think you can just constantly redo this if you want and plan it no big deal but let's take you into the uh, heart and soul of this contraption here all right this is where it starts right here uh, that's all there is to it with the flip of a switch um, it's always going to be on because it is holding those uh, pistons in the on position so it holds the block of water uh, up above it so uh, I'm going to break the blocks here. I'm going to show you the line of redstone and how exactly I built this. This is just simply because you need it, because the line of redstone isn't quite long enough, so just need that redstone repeater right there, depending on how long you make it. But this is the heart and soul of the uh, automatic wheat farm. That is all there is to it. Now the reason for uh, each piston getting its own... Uh, redstone repeater is because you need one uh, solo current going into each and every one of those pistons because if you were to just put a normal redstone uh, block right there the one mainline current would like if you were to put it right there it would cause this piston to go up but it would not cause the rest to go up as well it'd be like one uh, current going through each and every one of them kind of like passing through them but that's why they each get their own current and then you have basically the connector here that uh, continues the main line connecting. So you can do another block line over here. And, well, to be honest with you, you don't need to do just two. You know, you could do uh, one line of five pistons, and then you can do another line of five pistons. and just keep going on and on and on and on forever. And uh, just as long as you have enough redstone, you can do whatever the heck you please. I don't give a shit, so. Um, and also you can, like, do this and cover this up so none of this redstone is shown and you know make it look nice from behind because you want to protect that that is the most important part of the entire project so. but uh, that is all there is to it uh, not that hard to make um, I hope this tutorial helped but um, if you guys have any more questions or any other ideas for contraptions or any of my other contraptions that you may have saw in any of the other previous videos just let me know and I will make a, a rough sketch just like this and uh, post a video about it. So, thank you so much for watching. I'll give you guys one last view of how the wheat farm looks. My beautiful work of art. And there we go. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Rick Nerds, coming to you from Platinum Pictures HD. We'll see you later.